Whoa, well, it's your boy Epic Photos here, here with a quick tutorial on how I hook up my Elise drum module to my computer. And this is the Elise drum module that I use, okay? This is for the Forge kit, and I will be showing you guys what I use to hook it up to my computer and stream through OBS. I can either stream through Facebook or I can stream through uh, YouTube. All you need is a couple cords, that's pretty much it. And because my computer does not have a input for, for a, a, a mic, it has an input for a headphone mic. So that input is a little different. But this setup will work for anybody's computer, okay? So I'm gonna show you guys what you need to get started and you can start streaming right away, all right? Check it out. Well, it's your boy, Photos here. So I'm about to show you guys how I set up my streaming to Facebook and to YouTube using my Elise Forge drum module, okay? How I do it is pretty simple. All you have to do is get one of these guys, okay? You order it on Amazon for about maybe eight bucks, okay? And what it does is it takes your computer, if your computer does not have a mic input, like mine, I don't have a mic input. Okay? I have a, it's almost like a conference headphone type input, but it doesn't work for what I needed to do. So I had to get a, it's like a, a adapter, and it turns your USB into a mic slash headphone port. Okay, so you can get this type, right there, or you can get the type that's like this. I have two, because I'm going to be doing two instruments soon when I strain. Okay? So you can get this type or that type. Either one works. The only difference is this one is it, it'll be closer to the computer, it'll be straight to the computer. But this one does have a longer wire, so you don't have to reach you know, as, into your computer as far. So that's what you need. All that you need is a Auxiliary 3.5 auxiliary audio, which is this guy right here. Okay. This guy is what you would use to feed in the music into the drum brain, which would go into the auxiliary box. So we end right here. Okay. Now, how I do it, this, this guy goes into the auxiliary, okay. and I have a cell phone that I use for only. Only my drum covers, okay? This is what I use. It's very dirty, <laughs> but it's the only thing that I use for my drum covers. The only thing on it is the music for my drum covers, okay? So it has a SD card in here that has all the drum covers that I have purchased on here. So I plug that guy into here, okay? Then I have it. I have a mount on my on my uh, at least drum forge kit. Okay, so it goes through here, plays, goes into the drum board, goes out, okay? Now this goes into your computer, okay, like I said, it goes into the computer. Now the next thing you need is an audio split. So this is a female, two female, male audio split, okay? You can get that too on Amazon for about seven, maybe eight bucks, okay? And it works beautifully. So this guy, I take and put in Mike's mic cord here, right in here, like that. Okay. Now what I do is take another auxiliary cord, take it from here into the drum brain's phones. Okay. So it goes into phones. So now what you have is there's another one right here. I, I usually try to do it in two different colors so I know which one is which. Okay, so this guy goes into here. That's the phones. Goes into the phones like that. And then the other side actually goes into the headphones. Right there. Okay? So this is this is the, the, the loop. 
that you're pretty much using. Alright? This goes into your computer. It's in your computer. Then you have a pair of headphones. And you use these because they already have a wire attached to them. Okay. So these go into your headphones. Right here. I know it seems like a lot. Okay? Maybe it's the way that I'm doing it, but it really isn't. Right? It really isn't a lot. Really, what you're purchasing is um, these uh, this this particular setup right here. Like I said, if you don't have a mic input on your computer, you basically you need to have this. So it splits the signal into you know, from your headphones and then splits to the one going to your drum. This this is the key right here. And in OBS, all you're doing is telling OBS that I want to stream what's coming in, which is to your drum board, to the, the actual mic. Because this turns into the mic. Even though the drum brain music going out is going into this one, into mic, it actually is, is looking at it as a mic. Okay? Then in your computer, what you're going to do is you're going to set your audio levels very, very, very low. So when you set your audio levels using this, do not set your audio levels too high. You might think that you always need to do it like a regular uh, audio level, but you don't. So what you're going to do is you're going to go over here, you're going to right click, and you're going to go to recording devices. Okay, over here in your recording devices. You gotta see that. Okay, your recording device is set up. <coughs> you're gonna have what's called, um, you'll say USB um, mic. Okay, that's the one that you want to work from right here. That's USB mic. Okay, see that USB audio device. That's the one that you're gonna work from. Right? So if my drum module was actually on, connected to my set then it would actually pick up all the sounds when I hit, hit the uh, pads and pick it up. And you're going to go in here, you're going to double click, and you're going to go to levels. Okay, now right here I have my levels set higher because I was using the actual microphone. So you're going to take your levels and bring it down because the drum module is very dynamic, it's very powerful. So you want those levels to be set really low. And you're going to go in and you're going to click. Okay. Click OK. And then you're going to come out of it. Say OK. And you're going to come out of it. And once you come out of it, you're going to go in OBS and you're going to do your configurations and you're going to set your mic levels in OBS. You're going to set your camera. Like I said, like I, said I use a webcam. This is my webcam right here. It's not going to, uh, it's not going to actually show it because the light is right. But that's my webcam, and I have that webcam mounted on the tripod, and I have a light, my lights mounted around it so that the webcam does not have to work so hard to expose. And that's pretty much it. On Facebook, you're not going to get the greatest, greatest, greatest quality ever, but trust me, it works and it's better than using your cell phone. Audio is better also, so that's how I stream. Streaming it through YouTube is just a little bit better, and it, it, the quality is a little better, and um, your, your, your actual uh, sound is a little better on YouTube. Now, this is the disclaimer. If you use it on Facebook and you use a cover that is copyrighted, 9 times out of 10, Facebook will snatch it, and you will be in Facebook jail for a little while. This has happened to me a lot of times. Even though they're covers, or it's just music backings, Facebook will snatch it because if it sounds like the original or or doesn't have you don't have the credits in the song saying that you took the song and used it for a cover, that's the 10, Facebook will snatch it. Their algorithms are very, 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 very sensitive. It's not fair, it sucks, I know, but I'm just letting you guys know that it's something that I've been through. So your safest bet really is to upload it to YouTube then share the link from YouTube to your Facebook. Okay? That's why I'm, I'm starting to do that because I'm starting to get uh, uh, penalized a lot more than that. I don't know if it's because Facebook is not just so seen that I've been uploading a lot more. 
getting a lot more views. So they're starting to pay more attention to my account. Okay. But when YouTube is a little more a little more lenient, as long as you put the type the uh, description of who it is and music that you're using as far as covers and packages and things like that, you should be gold. Okay? So again, it's your boy Epic Photos here. Also I have uh, Epic Photos video game page and I have an Epic Photos um, uh, um, drum page which is called Mad Talent the Drummer. That's my actual drum page. Um, check the, check both of them out. Subscribe to my channel if you like this video. If it was a little informative to you, let me know. If you didn't like it, let me know too. I would like to know. Okay. So you guys have a great one. I'll see y'all again. Peace.